you guys welcome back to another vlog it's been a crazy day it's been a crazy day let me just tell you i let me just tell you okay dhl lost a package full of diamonds um thankfully they were nobody's diamonds they were my diamonds but dhl lost my package full of diamonds i purchased diamonds from all over to inspect and grade and see if i want to make jewelry out of them and dhl has been reliable dhl honestly they each have fedex ups dhl they each have their own little things but it seems like whenever a package is super important or time sensitive they just feel like losing it so anytime i'm like tracking a package and i really need it something happens to it so it arrived in canada on friday and then it hasn't moved since then i've been on the phone with dhl like every three minutes trying to figure out where these diamonds are no one knows what's going on no one knows i was at dhl for an hour last night and they came out and they're like we can't find it and i was like what do you mean what do you mean you cannot find it? How does that happen? Like it's in here? How did, How can you not find it? Anyways, I just got a call and thank God they found the diamonds. So that is good news. So I, don't, I just have a passion for it. Anyways, in this vlog, I'm talking about this because in this vlog we are redoing one of the offices in our CNC office. So it's gonna be a CNC and this new business office, which I guess you guys might know the name by the end of this. I don't know. I don't know where will end up but i'm taking one of the rooms because we had an empty office room and i'm turning it into the engagement room so we can do like consultations in there and it's just going to be that office so i have designed it and all of the stuff has arrived i ordered a desk from wayfair i ordered some panels for the wall and i also ordered a sign for the wall so that's what we're doing in this vlog. I'm very excited. Tonight, E10 and I are volunteering, so I have to kind of get the show on the road at 5.30, so I have to get ready for that. And I wanted to show you guys my quick kind of like makeup I do when I'm just running out the door. I want to feel put together. I want to feel beautiful, but I don't want anything too heavy. And obviously, my go-to products are from Merit. So I'm very excited that this portion of today's video is in collaboration with Merit. They have some of my favorite products in the whole world, but I just absolutely love them. They're good for your skin. They don't clog your pores. They don't feel heavy. And I honestly haven't met a Merit product that I haven't loved. Also, side note, you get a cute little bag with your first time order. So if you haven't ordered from them, that is something you can look forward to. I just keep all of my like go-to easy products in there. I'm gonna start with the Merit Instant Glow Serum. It creates the perfect glowy base for any makeup routine, honestly, and it just feels so nice. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the um, Minimalistic. I use the shade Bisque, and I use this all over my face, but primarily in the center of my face because that's where I want the most coverage. And I just go in, put it all over where I want it, kind of like where I would apply concealer. I love using this because it's so lightweight, but you get pretty good coverage and you can really build it up. And then this brush. Okay, it's dirty. Don't judge her. She's dirty, but this is the best brush. If you want one brush that could blend every single thing out and do the job of every other brush, like all your brushes in your makeup collection, you can get rid of them because this brush can do it all. I love how it makes it so easy. It blends it out so perfectly. So I do one preliminary layer all over my face and blend it out. And then I go in with another layer kind of where I would put concealer. I desperately need to fake tan myself. I am looking like it's the middle of February when it's actually been so nice here in Montreal, but for some reason, I have zero tan to show for it. I'm hoping on my trip next month that I get really nice and tan. I'm going to Greece and Italy. If I don't get tan there, I have no excuse. I have no excuse. We need to add some bronziness to my face. So this is the bronze bomb in the color Sen. She is so good. She is going to give you the perfect bronziness and it's going to just blend into your skin like nothing else you've ever used. So I kind of just do that three motion with the same brush. I like using the same brush for everything because that way, you know, everything blends together. Do you see how easy that just blends into my skin? Like, it's so balmy and easy to blend, but 
not greasy in the slightest at all. I am going to go in with a little blender, which I forgot to wet, and you guys are sitting in my sink, so I guess we're wetting it in my tub. Now I have my bronziness, but I need my color back in my face, so I'm going in with the Flush Bomb in the shade Beverly Hills. This is a new color to me, and it is by far my favorite color that I have from them. It's like a muted, mauve-ish, baby pink. It's so pretty. So I just literally swipe it onto my face. And I also put it in a straight line on top of each eyebrow. I saw that on TikTok. They said to do it. I put a little bit on my lip, a little bit on my nose. Now I wanna talk about something that has truly changed my life, okay? And that is the Merit New Eyebrow Pencil. This is the 1990 Brow Pencil. And what I love so much about this brow pencil, okay, is how micro teeny tiny the tip is. So you're gonna be able to get super in there and draw those hair strokes and I like combining this with the 1980s brow pomade so I go in with this pomade first to do kind of like my preliminary shaping and I feel like when I do this I can really see where I need to fill in better shade dark brown and I'm gonna fill in don't look at the fact that I probably need to do my eyebrows I'm just gonna draw on these little hair like strokes at the tip of my brow Sorry, the tail of my brow. That was so easy. Literally took one second. And then I'm gonna go very lightly and draw in a few hairs at the front just to make my brows come in a little bit closer together. I don't think I'm gonna do any liner today, but I am going to go in with some mascara. This is like a tubing mascara, which is my favorite kind of mascara to wear on the daily. And you can see it just gives you that really beautiful natural lash does not get clumpy at all i'm gonna finish off with a little bit of this solstice day glow highlighter i'm not kidding when i say i use this brush for everything and just put it a little bit on top i like this bronzy shade because it gives you a glow and a bronze and then i'm gonna finish off with a little bit of the lip oil and i feel like that's it that's all I need to go do my volunteering. This is honestly what I do on the daily, something light like this. I used to do a more intense look every single day, but I honestly prefer how a lighter look wears throughout the day, how it feels on my skin. And just like last time, I do have some custom sets that I have put together for you guys that if you purchase, you get 15% off the set. So if you purchase my favorite set, you get the Minimalist Stick, the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil, the Solo Shadow, the Number One Brush, the Day Glow Highlighter, and the Bronze Bomb for 170 USD instead of 200. And I also have my Glow Set where you get the Day Glow, Flush Bomb, and the Shade Slick, and the Signature Lip Lipstick for 96 USD compared to 112 USD. So I will leave all of those products linked down below. Once again, Merit, thank you so much for working with me on this video. I'm gonna head over now. I have to head back to DHL, then head over to do some volunteering. I'm going to my favorite sushi restaurant tonight, so I'm so excited. I just made it to the office. It's about two billion degrees outside today, and I'm using a new camera. Let me know what you think about this one. I used to use the G7X. I've used it for the longest time. However, I don't like the audio on that one, and the focus is really, really terrible. So I found this one. I bought it like during COVID, so long ago and never ended up actually really using it but i think it's the quality is really good so let me know if you prefer this camera anyways before we get started on the renovations for the new office i'm gonna have a sandwich i picked up dagwoods a little turkey sandwich because i'm famished and then also i came to the office and we got such a pretty ring in for a client okay so you guys are not gonna believe when i show you, you guys are not gonna believe the price okay so all of our diamonds are igi certified they are all certified certified lab diamonds we can also make natural diamond rings but i have a thing like with natural diamonds i don't love them so we can obviously do that for you but lab diamonds are just like my passion okay but lab diamonds are my passion at an affordable price do not get extorted on your lab diamonds okay she requested an oval solitaire ring on a 14k white gold band she didn't have too many specifications about the color or the cut or the clarity <laughs> she just said she wanted it to be pretty so we don't use anything 
below a G. So we only use colorless diamonds and we will use a G if it's requested. And then we don't use anything below a VS2 clarity. Typically we like to stick with VVS or VS1. Um, so let me show you this diamond. Okay, so she wanted, she originally came to me with a budget of $6,000 and she said two carats. And I was like, is that because that's the size that you want or is that because that is your budget? Like, do you want to go bigger for your budget? And she said, no, I want to get as big as possible for my budget. So I found her a 3.2 carat oval with an F color and VS1 clarity. Keep in mind, VS clarity is considered eye clean. So you cannot see any inclusions with the naked eye. You can only see them with a like magnifying glass, a jeweler's magnifying glass. The only time that your clarity is going to really affect your stone is if it's in a step cut stone. So an emerald, or an asher where you see the step cuts that's where you want to go up in clarity because you're more likely to see the inclusions but even at that with a vs clarity you're not going to see it so she wanted like i said 14 karat white gold she wanted a halo and she wanted an oval so this is the ring 3.21 carats. This is why the cut is so important because if you have a bad cut, your stone is going to look a lot smaller. And if you notice, there's no bow tie, very, very faint, like you, like minimal bow tie. That's also due to the cut of the diamond. And then if I show you the wrap around, you can see it's a wrap around halo. So if I get really close, it's not zooming on my face here, but if I get really close, you can see it wraps around the prongs. This is also an example of a ring, so I'll show you the difference. This is a 2.4 carat E color VVS2 clarity with an excellent cut. And this is also so stunning. So this is on a 14K yellow gold band with white gold prongs. We always recommend setting our your diamond in white gold or platinum prongs. Platinum ideally because it's stronger because it's not going to give a yellow tint to your diamond. Um, and so this is a 2.4 carat diamond. I've seen 2 carat 2.5 carat diamonds which look way smaller than this because the cut isn't good. So this is 2.4 carats. Another thing that we get a lot of requests for are those like whisper thin, super thin bands. We do not make our bands smaller than 1.6 millimeters and I highly recommend doing a 1.8 to 2 millimeter band. I'll show you the difference. 1.6 millimeter band, 1.8 millimeter band. They're both very dainty. Anything under that, your ring is going to become deformed just with like everyday wear and tear, not because like the best jeweler in the world, if they make a thin band like that with your everyday wear and tear, if you bang it on something, press it down on the table, it's gonna become an oblong shape. You're gonna have to bring it back to the jeweler and they're gonna have to hammer it back into a circle. You also have to take into consideration the proportions of the diamond. You want something that is not going to be too long. If you try to make your diamond too long, you're gonna get an, like a really exaggerated bow tie or you're gonna have like like black, it's gonna look like black parts in your stone. You wanna find, and this is why it's super important that you see the diamond before, like, or I see the diamond, or like someone sees the diamond before, because you wanna avoid um, strong bow ties. You wanna avoid having like those black patches on your diamond. If you stretch it too much, you're gonna either get black patches or you're gonna be able to see right through the diamond, which is no, no, no. For example, this is our Lux ring. 4.7. You can see how the gold prongs kind of make the diamond look more yellow. I designed these before I, I knew that. So um, I think moving forward, we're going to start putting our Lux rings in silver prongs, but you can see the difference. 3.2, 4.7, 3.2 carats. Guess how much this is? 3,800 Canadian. That's what I'm telling you guys. See, we also got in these 1.3 carat diamond studs these are set in 14 karat white gold do you guys have dagwoods in the states or is that a canadian thing anyways it's just like kind of like subway i can't really eat subway that much because i find it really hurts my stomach but i love a good sandwich like one thing about me is i love a sandwich sorry i keep looking on the side it's so hard for me because the screen is on the side so i keep looking like i'm looking like that anyways i love a good turkey sandwich but i like dagwoods better than subway because it, it feels like a little bit more like a real sandwich that looks like a pile of mess, but mm, it tastes so good. So what we're doing now is we're nailing these boards to the wall. 
and we had to cut out the plug, but it's a little difficult because this is real like pieces of wood. Tony's being very dangerous with the exacto knife. Without any safety goggles. Tony, be very careful. Well, that's very crooked. Well, that was our preliminary cut. Look, <gasps> Nikki, get out oh, of here with George. Get out of here with that scoundrel. <laughs> this is George. <laughs> I think it's okay because the desk will be in front of that. Welcome to a Thursday afternoon when we have our retail shift tomorrow and things are looking a little bit crazy. All of Tony's tools, random things from winners, shoes for Tony's closet. I was trying to hack on there that I saw it didn't work. What hack? If you put a piece of masking tape on top of a label, it's supposed to just come right up, but it don't work. It didn't work. <laughs> Um, Nikki and I are now going to get the showroom ready for tomorrow, plug everything in. This is our sign for the room. We're going to have to move that. You're, you're flashing our address. Oh, this it's is our fine. address. Our address is listed on the Instagram. This is our address, 3535 St. Charles Boulevard. Just did some rearranging in Tony's closet because it is really packed. So Nikki and I went through the $5 and the ten dollar bins and actually just we donated it uh, we donated a lot of bags of clothes this week and we just went through those bins to donate so i'm going to drop those off tonight put up a bunch of the new shoes there are some really cool new shoes like these are from chloe they're so cute tony got them on essence but i don't think they fit her foot properly oh those are like little Chanel. why are you so serious <laughs> <laughs> very nice not available anymore Marc Jacobs tote bag oh yes this one's really cute but it is missing the long strap but you could easily get a strap the one that it came with is just black and you can get a strap on Amazon, the Amazon. and hello hello a little shearling belt bag. Lulu belt bag in this cute color look at these jeans okay if you are between I would say a size 25 to 20, 24 to like 24 27. to 27 you best be looking because look what we got. We got Levi's what, 23, if you're a 23. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend Collective, these are the Carolina jeans in a light wash. And look, oh, <laughs> this is an A Goldie Paradise, okay? Girlfriend, 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 girlfriend. A Goldie, cream, like seriously? Some Zara also. Dynamite, Zara, Everlane, these are really cute. Um, redone jeans, I found a pants hanger. Oh, it's like hitting the okay. jackpot. Okay, so we got all of them up. They fit and look so good. We even cut out the things. Don't look too closely at the plugs mm -hmm. because they're not perfect. But then we got the idea to take the extra pieces we cut off and create like a border at the top. And so it creates like a more finished look. For free, basically. Mm -hmm. For free. It actually works out perfectly. We'll just have to cut the end. Honestly, if we didn't have to cut out the plugs or if we had the right tool to cut the plug, it would take... It was so fast. It was really fast. All we did was I used the nail gun and I put like a just put a little nail in it. You can't oh, even, you can see, even it. see it. And you can even get like a little Are bit you of wood, wood filler. Thumb? Yeah. You don't, you don't need, need, need it. But oh, you can. Gonna die. Oh, it's okay. Oh wait, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you could lean it against the box. Now that the camera's on, you're going all crooked. <laughs> I know. I'm under pressure. Do you want me to turn it off? Oh yeah. We just finished. It looks even better than I was expecting. We took the extra pieces of felt, shoved them in the hole and at the end. And you know, up close it's not perfect, but from far it looks really good. And that took like what, an hour? Like not even. But if we didn't have to cut the holes, we could have done it in literally 20 minutes. Yeah, actually it probably did take an hour. Yeah. Look at this mess that well, it made. Well, if you didn't have these tools, we wouldn't have been able to do it. No, that's true. It's not just like a simple thing that you can cut with an exacto knife. Yeah, no, you need like a little saw. Not that saw. Not the one I have because that's not very good. I'm trying to open the sign, but they have seemed to staple it. Oh my god, you got them out with your hands? Yeah, you but try that? it's not. Yeah. It seems they seem to have stapled this carton in every single corner. You're like, oh, you got it. Ah! I don't want to like rip anything. Oh no, it's okay. Just. Careful though of the. Oh, it's stuck on something. That was hell. Isn't it nice? It's so nice. Okay, 
because you need this. Yeah, this is the, like, to put it on the wall. Like this. Okay, so the sign is up. I want to get an olive tree, not this tree. I don't even know what kind of tree that is, um, to put in the corner. It even looks so good from outside. I think I need to get more lighting in here, but this is exactly what I envisioned. All right, I just finished up at the office. Now I'm going to go head downstairs to the second floor. Jana, my best friend who was just helping me, has a reformer studio, hot yoga, hot reformer, hot Pilates. So I'm going to head down there and do a quick reformer class and then head home. I have a lot of work to do on the computer, so it's just been a busy day. Just finished getting ready for work. This is what I'm wearing. It's an older, well not older, literally how did I just say that? I got it in the spring. It is from White Fox Boutique. It's this knit material. It goes long, long. Um, a little bit too long. I feel like I need to shrink this in the wash a little bit. So I just kind of tucked it at the waist. This is my belt I got last summer. And I've honestly worn it so much. I was going to wear a different purse. But I think this one goes really well with it. Kind of matches all of the colors of the accessories. Hi. Hello. Oh, you are Zoom. <laughs> that camera really zooms. You know what's so crazy? Nikki and I have been showing up wearing like the same things for the past few days. We got some exciting packages in. Yeah, we did. We did. I wasn't sure what you were talking about. The new chairs <laughs> and an olive tree. Both from? Amazon. Do we have to build them or they're built? We got, well, unless two chairs fit in this tiny little box it here. It looks like it's an Allen key situation. Oh, these are the shoes. Oh, yes. They're a little out of my comfort zone, but I'm going to try them. She felt like she was wearing dunks. It's a white sneaker. <laughs> but it's just like thick. thick. Like a little bit of a platform, but you love a platform. I know. I just, I guess because it comes up kind of high. So I found these on Amazon. They're boucle. They look really nice quality. Chairs. They look really nice quality. And they, for, doesn't that kind of smell good? Oh, yeah. I'm in a fall mood, you. Me too. I'm ready for fall. I am so ready for fall. Pumpkin spice lattes are coming out soon. Did you try the pumpkin no, spice foam? No, because I you haven't didn't? finished my vanilla foam and I wanted to finish up one thing before I opened another, but I'm ready for fall. I'm ready to put on leggings and my little Uggs. And like every day I'm every like, oh. August hits, I'm like, I'm ready mm -hmm. for fall. Yeah. So we got this and then we also got an olive tree because that tree, it just reminds me of like an old, old office building. We don't have an olive tree in here. No. Doesn't that remind you of, like, the tree that would be in an old, office. like, doctor's office? Yeah, it's giving dentist. So we got an olive tree. It's a seven-foot olive tree. Yeah. You smell so good. I know. Why don't you tell them what we got you for your bee day? So, actually, I had never heard of this fragrance before. But then when we started carrying one of our favorite brands, a Canadian small female-owned business, uh, we started carrying the Bitter Peach version. No, their version of Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. It's called Freedom of Peach and I just became obsessed with it. So it was just recently my birthday. Thank you everyone who wished me a happy birthday. And no, Tom Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever message her? No. Um. So anyways, I just, I loved this perfume. It smells so good. It smells, I would say like fresh, but also spicy in a way. It doesn't smell like fuzzy peaches. Honestly, I have to say when I first smelt it, I didn't love it, but the more I smelt it, mm -hmm. the I, more I loved it. I also think that like on the skin, it smells different. It smells different, but in like a your scent type of way. And you know, I love scents like that. I just remember when we first got these oils, I put it on and I kept saying, I can't believe how good it smells. I can't believe how good it smells. And honestly, the oil smells pretty much identical to the perfume, but Tony and Nikki got me a bottle of the perfume for my birthday and a tomato leaf candle, which I was so, so excited. It was way too gen generous and I really appreciate it because I just love it. Even the tomato, I think I'm gonna bring the tomato leaf candle here so I can have a little bit of the garden with me. I actually bought the other tree also on Amazon, and the tree is nice. It's just the, like, I don't like that kind of tree. Do we have a pot to put it in? No, but I have one at home, so I'll, I'll, I can bring it. Oh, it comes with a pot. Well, I mean, not a decorative pot. It's just a well, small Well, what is no, this? No, there's a pot. Oh. A little, <laughs> a little chapeau. Oh, cute. Oh, look, you guys. Did you not, did you not know it? No, I, I didn't we, know. We can go to Michael's and get some moss. 
Look at this cute little pot that it comes with. I didn't know Tammy that. Tammy has some moss at home. I do have moss at home. I got one at Maison Verano and it was over $300. This is heavy. It's a, it's a great olive tree though. It is, but like, okay, maybe the branch looks a little more realistic than this, but it's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like no one's looking up close to on the branch. That is a big tree, although it's looking a little sparse. I think maybe we just have to fluff it up. Love it. Maybe we should put it in the area it's gonna be so we can see what it's gonna look like. Where's the bucket hat? Over here. I think it looks good like that. Come There's on. the multi-tool box. Well, I feel like it needs to be like a short little square. Honestly, it's pretty tall. It's just, okay, it has like this random growth on it. Okay, I think that looks really good. I'm gonna put some curtains in the corner. I'm also gonna bring a rug from home, but I think the chairs are gonna make a big difference. I'm really excited, we should build them. Backrest. Is it comfy? I mean, it's not like a memory foam situation, but it's it's a solid stool, and I, I mean, like the backrest lumbar support. Should I mean, it is it? a dining chair. Like, it's not a living room Do you want to try? lounger. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Honestly, it feels so expensive. And it took us about five minutes. Easy assembly. It would have been way faster if we hadn't had that little hiccup. 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 But we should time the next one. Let's see what it looks like. So this is what the chairs look like. Honestly, it looks so perfect. I just have to get a little rug. I think I'm gonna get like a six by nine rug and put it this way. What do you think? What size is the rug that you have at home? Six by nine. Yeah. But it looks so good. Love the olive tree. This desk, like I said, is from Wayfair and it it feels so solid. Honestly, it feels like our desk from, um, where did we get it? Sundays, Sundays from the front. And then here on the desk, this. This chair is from France and Son. And then here on the desk, these are our Lux rings, which people can try on just to get a feel because we actually don't keep diamonds like just sitting here in our office. They're all custom made for each person. But we do have these little like fake faux diamonds. These are actually Lux diamonds that you can see all the different sizes. Five, four, three, two, one. And then I don't know what I'm gonna put in this marble bowl over here. But it's just pretty. So yeah, that is my little office update. We are so excited to launch Sev. Nikki actually came up with that name while we were in Toronto like two years ago. And the idea was first to kind of rebrand CNC as Sev, but CNC, if I'm being honest, that would just be a lot of work. But then when we started doing the diamonds, I really wanted a separate company because I wanted, like, I, it just made more sense that they're separate under a separate company where Sev is all, where one company is all solid gold and diamonds and the other is more everyday plated jewelry. So when I was coming up with the name idea, it honestly just was a no-brainer. Sev. For Sev Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> In case you guys didn't realize, it's for the first three letters of our last name. Nikki's last name, too. Yeah. Nikki Jones, of, Nikki Jillian Jones, Hearts of Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got home and I got a few packages that I want to open up with you. One of them I was rushing home. It was in my mailbox and I somehow forgot my office keys at work on Monday. So my sister had them and this was delivered yesterday and I've been dying to open it. It's a dress that I got for a photo shoot for Sev because I wanted it to be bridal, but I obviously didn't want to like wear a whole wedding dress. So this was perfect. I'm going to show you it. It's stunning. I ordered it two months ago and it was like custom made. It finally arrived. Then I got a dress from H&M and I got a package from Lawless. So I thought we could open it all up. I'm waiting for this dress to come back in stock. For a few months now, ever since I got this photo shoot in my head, and it finally came back in stock, and I ordered it immediately. This, this is the box. I'm so excited to see it. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Look at how, oh my gosh, you guys, this is even prettier. 
in person than it looks online. What is this? Is this to wear under? Although this does look like it's gonna be short on me and I'm five foot one, so I don't even know how short that would be on someone who's taller. And then I got this H&M package. Ooh, this feels really nice and thick. It's a brown, longer dress. I feel like I'm gonna also have to wear a slip under this. It kind of looks see-through, but it's longer, brown, and then has these little frillies. Very pretty. Okay, but I'm dying to go try this on. So let's go try this dress on. Oh my gosh, you guys, the dress is even prettier than I imagined. Don't look at me in the dress. You know when you try something on and without your hair and makeup done, you just look insane. But look at the details of this dress, okay? So this ring was actually inspired by a ring that a client made and I loved it so much that I actually had it made so that we can have it as a display and so that we can take pictures of it. But this dress is really pretty. It'll be perfect for a photo shoot. All right, so that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave everything linked down below. Don't forget to check out Meredith and I'll leave like all the office things. You are shrinking as I am talking to you. Tripod, this tripod sucks. Anyways, you guys, I will leave everything linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye.